January 11, 1945, the first elements of Marine Aircraft Group 24 landed on the south shore of Lingayen Gulf on the western coast of Luzon Island in the Philippines. Almost immediately, they provided close air support to nearly 175,000 Army forces that trekked across the 20-mile beachhead. The ensuing four months marked a period when Marine close air support truly came of aid, with MAG-12 and its four fighter squadrons on Leyte, with MAG-14 and its four Corsair squadrons on Samar, and with MAGs 24 and 32 and their seven squadrons of dive bombers on Luzon, there was now sufficient quantity of Marine aircraft to make a major contribution to the large-scale Army drive to retake the Philippines. After landing at Langayan with the assault forces on D-Day, MAG-24 operated continuously against Japanese forces, flying a series of more than 8,000 sorties despite relentless air and ground force opposition. MAG-24 was awarded the Presidential Unit Citation for exceptionally meritorious service in support of the United States 6th Army in the Langayan Gulf and Manila, Philippine Islands area from January 23rd to April 10th, 1945. To this day, MAG-24, as part of the 1st Marine Aircraft Wing, continues to conduct operations and exercises throughout the Pacific. Its mission, to provide combat-ready expeditionary aviation forces capable of short notice, worldwide employment in support of Marine Air Ground Task Force operations. Though we've gone through major transitions in the form of new missions, new platforms, new capabilities, and new units since the Philippines campaign, the 1st Marine Aircraft Wing remains an integral part of America's expeditionary force and readiness in the Pacific. We must remain skilled, smart, and strong, and ready to fight and win.